Today I'm in Oxford, where if you walk down Broad Street in the city centre, you'll find this cross on the road. It marks the spot where three men were burnt at the stake. It all began in 1553, when Mary I, known to some as Bloody Mary, was proclaimed Queen of England and Ireland. She was the daughter of King Henry VIII, who was known for having a pretty rough love life, and also for being responsible for the English Reformation, mainly because of his rough love life, actually. When the Pope wouldn't allow him to annul his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, Mary's mother, he took control of the Church of England. He separated it from the Catholic Church, removing the Pope's authority over it, and became its leader. This paved the way for the Church of England to become Protestant. Mary disagreed with what her father had done, and when she became queen, she tried to reverse it and restore Catholicism in England. One way in which she did this was by burning Protestants at the stake, accusing them of heresy. During her five years on the throne, around 280 people were burnt at the stake in what were known as the Marian Persecutions. These included Hugh Latimer, the Bishop of Worcester, Nicholas Ridley, the Bishop of London, and Thomas Cranmer, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the leader of the Church of England who played a role in reforming it to become Protestant. After Mary became Queen in 1553, the three men were summoned to the Church of St Mary the Virgin in Oxford, where they faced trial. They were found guilty and sentenced to death. On the 16th of October 1555, Latimer and Ridley were burnt at the stake, here just outside the city walls. It's rumoured that they each had a bag of gunpowder hung around their necks, so they would explode and kill them more quickly. As the fire was lit, Latimer is said to have called out to Ridley, Be of good comfort, Master Ridley, and play the man. We shall this day light such a candle by God's grace in England, as I trust shall never be put out. Meanwhile, Cranmer watched from a nearby prison tower. He'd been given more time to appeal his sentence. He spent five months renouncing his Protestant beliefs, basically saying, Me? Protestant? No, you must have me mistaken for somebody else. On the 21st of March, 1556, he was brought back to St Mary's to make a final recantation. But instead of reading his prepared speech, he reaffirmed his loyalty to Protestantism and accused the Pope of being Christ's enemy and Antichrist with all his false doctrines. As you can imagine, that didn't go down too well, and Cranmer was dragged off to the same wooden stake at which Latimer and Ridley were killed. As it was lit, he forced his right hand, with which he'd signed his recantation of Protestantism, into the fire. He wanted it to be the first part of him to burn. The flames climbed higher, and Cranmer was killed. It's not known exactly where the executions took place, but it's believed to be somewhere close to this cross and this plaque. And nearly 300 years later, a memorial called the Martyr's Memorial was built around the corner. Its inscription reads, To the glory of God, and in grateful commemoration of his servants, Thomas Cranmer, Nicholas Ridley, Hugh Latimer, prelates of the Church of England, who near this spot yielded their bodies to be burned, bearing witness to the sacred truths which they had affirmed and maintained against the errors of the Church of Rome, and rejoicing that to them it was given not only to believe in Christ, but also to suffer for his sake. This monument was erected by public subscription in the year of our Lord, 1841. By the beginning of the 20th century, the memorial had fallen into disrepair and was restored by the early 2000s. Now the faces of Hugh Latimer, Nicholas Ridley and Thomas Cranmer watch over people from above. <laughs> 